You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome to Geeky. Well, I keep doing that. Can, can we just do this again? You keep geek beating a dead horse. See? <laughs> oh, and that's Jill. Hello. I'm Kelly, and today it's Girl Power <laughs> talking about 3D printers because we have Jenny from MakerBot. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah. We've got some cool stuff with you today. Yes, you I do. I do, yeah. Tell what us about this. What is, what is this printer here? This is the MakerBot Replicator Mini Compact 3D Printer. And it's uh, it's the the smallest of the 3D printers that we make. It's and, so cute. Uh, it is really Look cute. At that. You can and you can make cute things I'm with have it. You, uh, try I, and capture that, got Jill. It. <laughs> Jill's got this. <laughs> so um, what? Uh, obviously, if you're going to print small versions of items, maybe right. maybe uh, replacement parts. Maybe things replacement like that. parts, or uh, you know, some some things for your kids, or okay. Little tiny bowls. Or uh, door knockers? Or door that knockers. Is that what that is? It's oh, a little I door see. Knocker. It's a door yeah. knocker. Got Does it. Does the, the bowls move as well? Yeah. If you look, it's sort of like, what's in the oven here? I'm going to try and zoom <laughs> I don't in know if here. I can get in. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's a door knocker. <laughs> that looks great. That's cute. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. So, this is made with our new with our new material that, that we're talking about at CES. So, we're not here talking about our printers. We're talking about what you can do with them. And this is made uh, with a, a PLA that's that's infused with bronze. So this is oh, actually wow. bronze. So it's actually uh, can I feel yeah, that? So yeah, PLA you can feel it. One of the most common 3D printed materials, right? But you're and, you, and almost all printers print in it, including your mini and your you're sort of uh, enhancing the PLA yeah, with other so, materials. So now we're coming out with composites and uh, like an example of this this hammer that is made with a composite of of maple on the bottom and then iron on the wow. top. So you can feel that it feels like it's it's a hammer if you actually. Oh wait, wow. it's got, so it's got the, the weight of a hammer and uh, wow, this is great. How and does and it it's feel? got the, the feel of wood on the bottom. So does it really? Yeah. yeah it's so this oh, so wow. we're really excited about these these products because you know obviously if you want to make a model of a, of a hammer, it's cooler to make it with wood and iron than it is with uh, bright blue plastic. It, so. it even has the sort of wood patterns on it. Yeah, yeah you can it see does. you can slightly see the layers of the printing, but it also looks like real wood. It it is real wood. So it's like uh, the, the, the like, material I mean, is not like a. Tree. It is. It's, <laughs> no, it is like a tree wood. It's actually wood that's infused with plastic, and then we extrude it. So, so what kind of percentage is it, like yeah. the wood and the plastic? Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that's a little bit of the secret behind oh. it, but it's pretty heavily loaded. Let's say it's got a lot of wood in it. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's very unique. Um, you know, we're we're really excited to bring to bring these new materials out. Awesome. And so is this another? That's made with bronze, and actually, uh, this is our bronze filament. You can see it's it's polished on this one side, so you can see what you know how you can actually take it and finish it, and it, okay. it feels like plastic. You know, it feels like bronze, and even sort of uh, yeah. you know has a sheen of bronze. So, so you just sort of sanded it. You, you took it out of the printer and sanded it down yeah, a bit. Yeah. So you it can, can and then this is made what? with with our iron with our iron material and it's it can be magnetized as well so you can put a big ass magnet on it and oh my gosh and, and but after got a the magnetic fact, not through the 3D printer yeah if you did it okay. through the 3D <laughs> printer it'd be a little bit of a problem <laughs> just, but. just making sure we're on the same page here <laughs> so it gives you all sorts of options and it lets you make real time prototypes that that look a lot more like what the end product might yeah. look like and have a little more functionality have a little right. more yeah. functionality yeah That's so great. you know so I, some of the MakerBot printers don't don't you do multiple materials in in one or so, is it separate? So all of all of our three D printers use PLA today. Okay. Um, and and so uh, yeah, we really like using PLA. It's okay. a nice plastic. Yeah. Awesome. It's a nice the, friendly plastic. Yeah. Yes. It's the non toxic. Yeah. Uh, biodegradable. It's kind of so your dog can eat it and they won't die. You know, <laughs> right. Like that. That's that's that'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> and talk to me about the pricing of all of your different versions. So this uh, this is this is uh, uh, thirteen seventy five. And then uh, um, we have the, the replicator, which is in between, mm -hmm. and, and then we have the Z18, which is priced at 64, 64 And the Z18 know. is the big the one. The Z18 is really more, big. Yeah. It prints really big things. So 18 you guys by 18 printing by full helmets. Oh, it's like great. Cosplay yeah. helmets. I make. Like I, I love to make big bowls, and you, know, you can oh, make. Oh, cool. uh, You can do all sorts of things with it. It's really. Yeah, I was gonna ask really what incredible. are some things around your house that you've 3D printed and that you use. I, my my husband keeps saying I really want to make a trash can. I'm not sure why he's uh. so intrigued with a trash can. But uh, I've made some really big bowls. We've made some uh, 
um, we still have a lot of fun with it. So we made yeah. some, a big Totoro, you know, Totoro Aww, about that big. Nice. So, you know, That's awesome. Um, now, so MakerBot was one of, pretty much the first company to make a big splash uh, when when the consumers became aware of 3D printing. Right. Uh, PV, uh, P Punks, Punk GS in the chat room is asking about bioprinting. What are your right. thoughts on, on that? And do you think MakerBot will ever get into that arena? So I don't really expect uh, I don't really expect MakerBot to go into the bioprinting. Okay, printing really focused market. on consumers because I don't think consumers really, and bioprinting. Yeah, probably we're not so much focused on consumers so as we are bringing well, accessibility to individuals mm -hmm. and, and empowering designers and engineers and people to, to be able to do their yeah. prototyping. So yeah. um, one of the things I think the closest to bioprinting you might get with us is people making prosthetics or maybe making yes, a bone exactly. gag for, for an operation. Oh yeah, there's there a lot of I, stories. You guys on have that. some medical applications. You mm -hmm. have a full printed skeleton in your booth. I yeah, saw the, earlier. the printed. Yeah. Skeleton's really awesome, and you know, a skeleton uh, to, to go and buy a skeleton, a medical skeleton, costs probably you know ten thousand dollars or more. But uh, to be able to print one costs uh, you know uh, maybe uh, maybe a hundred dollars or one hundred and fifty dollars in materials. Um, in materials, That's so it's great. really gonna gonna be able to give everyone a medical skeleton if they'd like one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was really cool. We had a, a blind guy in the booth today. It was really interesting mm -hmm. watching him, uh, you know, feel, feel a skeleton him. and be able to. And it, it really gives you a sense of, um, you know, the accessibility that 3D printing can bring to people mm -hmm. where he may never be able to to touch a medical skeleton, but he'd be able to because this one's been 3D printed. So it's really yeah. cool to watch him do that. Yeah. Awesome. You got some other cool stuff in your booth. There's a Martha Stewart collection. Yeah. What? Printing. Can you tell yeah. us about that? Oh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah. So that, that started last year in the booth when, when Martha came around and... Um, she was at CES last year? She was at CES oh last goodness. year and she came on a tour and she, she and Bree yeah, <laughs> <and Brie, laughs> hit it off and they talked about the C18 and what we could do. And so we've been working with uh, Martha Stewart's design studio throughout the year and um, They've been doing prototyping with with MakerBot printers, and they've made some really cool products. And then, uh, like, what? What's an example of the? What is what is Martha Stewart printing? So, so they they use three D printers to prototype things. So they, you know, the the bowls and and the oh, okay. the, the, yeah. the the pottery and things like that. So you need to understand what the design's going to look like, and they sure. they use three D yeah. printers for the prototyping. It's, it's yeah. cheaper. It's easier. You can you can yeah. make more mistakes. And they can that do process. it right there. You know, iterate yeah. multiple times in a day. And then we made some really cool colors for them as well. Yeah. So, uh, really now cool. you can print colors. out Martha colors. Yeah. <laughs> After we had little like cake stands with like a little yeah, lattice little pattern, little oh, nice. like, uh, it's been placement fun. cards holders. Looks cool. gorgeous. Yeah. Now I love it, our booth has been really fun this year because we have customers in the booth talking about what they're doing with 3D printing, and it's I think that's so much more exciting than talking about this is a 3D printer. <laughs> this is what it does. You know, it's really awesome. Well, it's coming a long way now. Th people right. are very aware yeah. of what it does, so you don't have to go backwards with them. It's so cool. GE yeah. First Build is there telling people, you know, about the the prototyping that people are doing for their really smart refrigerator. I mean, yeah. uh, so cool the concept that you could be out shopping and be be uh, check in on your milk levels while you're yep. at the store. So yeah. there's all sorts of options with the internet of things of what you can do. Indeed. And then to see what the, the schools are doing and, and bringing, bringing just uh, you know STEM education out to kids <laughs> in a new way, it's really Very awesome. Cool. Yeah, so I was at CES last year when you demoed the, the new replicators, the fifth generation, I think, yep. of your printers. And, and now this year, you're sort of it's coming full circle. You're showing what people have been doing for the past year with your with your exactly. products. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. And we'll see. We're, we're really looking forward to what people do this year as well. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, one question from guests in the chat room: Are the bronze and the iron infused materials are are they conductive? Uh, these are not conductive these materials. These are not. Yeah. Can that be done? Um, well, these are not conductive materials, but we'll have to see what. We'll have to see what else we have in the cooker. All righty, <laughs> cool. Well, thank Very you cool. so much for Thanks. taking the time to show us the new materials. And that is really what 3D printing is all about when you say, Jill, this year, uh, uh, materials, more materials, yeah. better materials, uh, having fun with new and cool stuff. Objects that when you first look at them, you wouldn't think that they were 3D printed right away. Right. Yeah, indeed. It's happening for the first time this year, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool to see. Great. Makerbot.com? Makerbot.com. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, more coverage at geeky.tv slash CES live. All right, Jill, I'm going to actually let you take it out because I keep screwing it up. What do I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm depending on you. <laughs> no. Just say, say bye. Bye. Because I can't do it. This is Callie and I'm Jill.